Hello ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the place that I'm going to in five months. So, yeah, let's just type in this, I don't know, yep, right there, 11 and acres. So, oh, uh, that's, 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 hang on, hang on, I just add, or pop up, whatever you want to call it. So, revenant acres. So this is really good. So mainly an old 30 acre farm in Charlottesville, Indiana. And he hello. Return on investment. Right. Tuition at WGU is half the cost of many other online universities. Let's run the numbers. An old 30 acre farm in Charlottesville, Indiana. This old rundown location has a lengthy history of owners dating back to the 1800s. Although not much history is known about the location, previous residents and paranormal investigators have had claims of hauntings and mostly of the intelligent type. Previous residents say that when they lived there, they felt the presence of an old woman. Paranormal investigators claim hauntings of the poltergeist type, including things being moved, thrown, and even hit while being held. They have also said that they have heard real-time voices from female to male and even what they believe was a child. More recently, paranormal investigators have noticed an increase in activity with noises, bangs, hair pulling, touching, and voices coming through the spirit boxes saying violent and vulgar things. A dark male presence has been noticed, felt, and experienced in the house. Claimed possessions have also been reported by this same presence. Investigators have received the name Paul numerous times and I am seven has been recorded many times. Watch the 44 minute video by Living Dead Paranormal, the four men brothers, to see what they have experienced by clicking here, which I'm not going to do. We are currently reviewing the deeds to this property from beginning the, to current and Order. We are currently re reviewing the deeds to this property from beginning to current in order to learn more of the history of this house and people that owned it. As we learn more, we will post anything that is historic or factual interest or factual interest to the, uh, to the paranormal community. And then they got updates there. Uh, these are just some images. Yeah, mm, pretty good house, you know, beaten up right there, um, beaten up house, with some dead trees around, there's a barn, yeah, there is a barn, pretty weird how it's, yeah, but there's a barn, um, that's a close-up view of the front porch, um, you got that little rocking chair, you gotta love that rocking chair, you gotta love and then, you know, um, that's one of the creepy pictures, another creepy picture, it kind of looks like a monster house if you just indent this out, then it's good, um, at night time, and then you get to the creepy part, where you have the same picture a couple of times, with some writing on the wall right there, you can see later, beaten down room, um, pretty much empty, the worst room you can ever witness, um, and kid drawing books and stuff, don't know what that's about, um, a piano, the rocking horse again, and the thing on the wall, you know, and stairs going up, and then a the kitchen, you know, knives and everything. And you got the the car that the, the demons go and ride around, and that's it. So warning: this is an actual haunted house with actual hauntings. Enter at your own risk. So this is gonna be fun. You know, they have a YouTube channel. Let me just go ahead and open that here. Uh, hello. Oh, YouTube right there. Yeah, Revenant Anchors YouTube. Uh, they got some videos there. 
Um, yeah, the usual. Um, the yeah, events, the evidence. Um, well, there's the 44 minute video. Yeah, photos, video, and audio clips. So let's look at the photos. Look at this. It's creepy as hell. Damn. Right here, I don't understand this picture as much. So there's a ghost around there or something. I don't know. Alright. So the piano with keys being pressed down. Um, there's multiple pictures of that. Uh, some night vision pictures at night. And you get this for 12 hours. You get to see you in this house by yourself for three hours. What the hell? So, Revenant. Now, a person who has been who has returned, especially supposed from the dead, supposedly from the dead. So let's see some updates here. Hmm. Coming soon as of November 6, 2016, we are working on having a digital copy of all the deeds to the property since it was purchased from the United States. States in 1827. We will hopefully have it posted from December. So the o United States own this house. No one else does. Okay. Oh, here we go. According to the abstract or title, Josiah Van Meter sold a portion of the land to John Van Meter and his heirs for $2 million in 1847. We feel this information is vital because it is with thought that Josiah Van Meter was the original owner to the farmhouse, otherwise known as us, to the Revenant Acres Farm. When, according to the information, Josiah was or Josiah, Josiah was was just the original landowner for all of Charlottesville. We are still working to determine who actually built the house by cross-referencing the actual lands, partially with the abstract and the first land purchaser which may be John Van Meter. However, once those details are found to be fact, we will update this page. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's all good. This post will be updated continuously as we learn more and more, which we were sure we will have a link. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go see in May. What time in May? I don't know. I just know it's going to be sometime in May. Go ahead and go to these guys' YouTube channel. Go subscribe to them. They, well, I'm not saying they need it, but they could use it. Um, it's only 33 subscribers. They're high. Come on. That's 507 subscribers. And I'm pretty sure to bring my GoPro in there with me. I don't know if you can or not, but... I'm looking forward to this. So guys, it's been Revolution here. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more. And yeah, I'm sure to give you gaming videos soon. I don't really know about that. Like, I don't know how the lag and the issues are going to be. But until then, it's been Revolution here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.